Mandy J here. Today we have some figural key rings. This is series 15 from the Disney collection. I have kind of an addiction to these. I really do enjoy getting these and I'm kind of decent at trying to figure out who's who and sometimes getting who I'm looking for. Um, though not necessarily a master and you know as always I have Mr. Transformers 96 here with me. Oh yes I can attest she's very good at feeling these. I I feel like I'm pretty good with Mystery Minis uh, weight wise. Like the boxes. The boxes I am pretty good with that but the bags I'm terrible with. Never been good at feeling them. However she has done wonders getting a uh, couple of exclusives. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I have like a couple of the exclusives that I exclusives I have. I have like the Goldie uh, Goldie Fish um, from more of like the Pets themed one and um, Flower from that collection. Um, with the Marvel I have an unmasked Gwen, um, Spider Gwen, so I do have a couple of the exclusives. Um, I'm still looking for a Rapunzel, need a Rapunzel mm -hmm. in my life, but today we have a couple and as you can see there I really like this collection just because there's some great ones in here. Yeah, I think that this is like really solid as far as character wise. Just the assortment in yeah. general. I'm really kind of thinking Heimlich's kind of the oddball because normal they seem to come in at least pairs um or it comes series. yeah like three you have three three two and then Heimlich is just one which is odd um but uh but yeah solid series I think that the Hunchback of Notre Dame ones are the only ones that we both don't really care yeah. for when Everybody I was else little is cool though when I was little that movie really kind of creeped me out and everything yeah, I was never into it kind of scared me either. so it's not one like I love the character design of Esmeralda and everything don't get me wrong I'm just not I don't have that like connection and mm -hmm. then obviously for exclusive A and B if you look closely it definitely looks like B is the uh, llama version of Cusco and the exclusive is Hades and we're just assuming it's a red version of the one up here mm -hmm. um and we're kind of hoping today um we've done some filling i think we had the first um kind of go at this assortment yeah, because them, yeah. we kind of like it doesn't seem like a lot of people look for these it's only targeted to so many people mm -hmm. and there was quite a bit so i think we got at least first maybe second pick mm -hmm. um so we're hoping to maybe get a llama a hades and a heimlich today um this one um we're guessing is going to be probably the llama just because of how it feels yeah. um open that one first yeah i'll open up this one all right yeah, I, you know, personally, uh, Hades and Yzma are the two that I think are the coolest. Just because I'm a villain fan, so love to see the villains represented here. Yeah. Well, let's see what um, we've got. I'm really kind of hoping for a Heimlich, um, mm -hmm. just because he'd be cute on my Alice mini backpack. Um, I do have a Alice in Wonderland. Oh no, it's Yzma. It's Yzma. We have Yzma here. Yeah, well, not um, Alama, but hey, I think she looks really cool. She's actually kind of like really flimsy. That's, oh really? Because it very... felt like one was almost like split in half. Yeah, is it's, it, is this it is the one torn, that. Or is it she just? No, it's just how like oh, she's okay. very thin. That's true. Like she's very like kind of like hmm. whimsy. This is actually one that I've like ne I've never felt one feel so. It's a week? Week before. Yeah, That's they're normally a, a lot of like heavy. And I think it's because you have all this detailing in the back and she gets really yeah, thin. Yeah, kind of cut it so... in some places. I think that's the reason, but you know what? I'm not necessarily disappointed. I'm happy that I got her. She is one of my favorite villains, personally, to say. Um, I like your like little stance. And, like, yeah. Her so hands. if you if you're f trying to fill for an Isma in this series, I would definitely say fill for like around here because it's going to be really thin and it's going to be kind of frail. So you can kind of bend it mm -hmm. because it, it almost feels like she's like in two because she gets bulkier again at the bottom here and she's very bulky up top. So if you just look for that weird kind of thin spot you'll be able to find her and so, you have yeah. one to go with your pop now yeah i definitely do so i mean definitely like even though it's not the llama like we kind of thought well i was trying to find ears like feel mm, for ears yeah. and i couldn't quite feel ears but i kind of figured how he was like thinner in the middle because it does look like the llama um key ring is thinner in the middle i was kind of thinking maybe that's why mm -hmm. so yeah definitely if you're looking for yzma if this is the character you're wanting that's like my suggestion she is pretty small compared to the other figures and she is really flimsy so i would definitely say she would be an easy one to fill out if you are looking for this character yeah so let's on to the next one. The second one let's see um, I'm gonna open this one. This is the one that we're kind of hoping is Hades. It is one of the bulkier ones. We yeah. think that if it's not Hades, my guess would be maybe Esmeralda or Kromp. Yeah, true. Just because be those Kromp. are also a pretty big bulky. Yeah. Hope it's not Esmeralda. Yeah. 
Yeah, and wait. oh yay, we did it! Oh yay! So we got Hades. That's well, awesome. He's, he's very fat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's so, much fatter than he looks. And on the, on this the back does there. look like this isn't the exclusive. No, this is the regular one. Um, but yeah, we kind of figured if it's going to be Hades in this particular bag, you're gonna want to look for that really big base just because he kind of has that toga, and he is pretty big. I think it's weird how his face kind of indents. He looks strange. Um, yeah. <laughs> he does look a little strange, but um, I would definitely look for again one of the heavier bags. Mm -hmm. I would look for maybe a bigger base, like just kind of feel for something that feels really bulky. Yeah. Um, when I was feeling around, I thought what would give him away is his hand in this flame but I could not fill that just because of the cardboard they put inside and then um of course like trying to feel for up here the top but the little flames up here you can't really feel that well so I would definitely just kind of look around and weight them and just see what's like heavier and bulkier and kind of look for this kind of big base and along like if you can feel the bottom of it if you can figure out where the key ring is in the box in the bag and just feel for the bottom, you should be able to feel the smoke and you should feel how big the space is. Yeah, and you have the uh, Hades pop to go with your Hades key yeah. right now. Yeah. So you're doing well villain-wise. Yeah, vill <laughs> the that I, ironically yeah. the ones you wanted are the ones we now have. But I, again, not mad, not mad at all. Um, let's just hope that this last one's Heimlich. Yeah. Um, now with Heimlich, he is obviously the smallest out of all these. So we went for whatever smell felt to be the smallest that didn't feel like it had a body or anything with it. Mm -hmm. So this one here seems pretty small, seems pretty contained. So we're hoping is going to be out of all of them. Heimlich. Yeah, out of all the ones that we predicted, I feel like this one we had the best chance of getting yeah. right. So because I feel like yeah. we found two that could have possibly. I just don't see what this. I mean, Quasimodo is the only other one that I can kind of see this being, but I'm thinking it's Heimlich, so... Yeah, I mean, see. it could be a Meg if she's as thin as, um, Yzma. Yeah, this does, it doesn't feel very long, though, at all. It feels like no. very... It's like a little ball. Yeah, so, I mean, I know we felt two that felt very short and, like, contained, so maybe Heimlich's gonna be an easier one, one, to find, and two, you might get more of, mm -hmm. um, just because it's not an exclusive. And I'm cutting them from the bottom just because they're all oh, kind of pushed to I the top. I saw who it is. Oh, is it not Heimlich? It's not Heimlich. Aww. Uh, it goes with one of our others. Oh, okay. Yeah, so not Kronk. bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, That's we strange. were and more Kronk feeling. Looks massive. Yeah, he I does not look really him. big. Yeah. And the reason why we didn't know it was um Kronk is because we couldn't feel the feet. Because yeah. we were feeling more this up here, and so we thought it was the bulkiness of Heimlich. Um, I you... feel like the scale on here is not accurate to oh, the actual yeah. thing because I, like. When you compare him, he looks really big with his hair and everything, but Yzma's taller than him in, in real life. So don't just take the back pictures to actually be scale with each other, because apparently they're not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, you know, I'm not necessarily disappointed, but uh, it's not one that I was really hoping for. I really want a Heimlich, so I'm definitely have to go back in and see if I can't find a couple of more um, that might feel like Heimlich. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, if you're looking for Kronk, he's definitely going to be very bulky. You're not really going to feel his legs or this up here. Um, these are going to be really tiny, really thin. So feeling them through the cardboard is definitely going to be harder. Um, if you find that the cardboard feels a little bit more weaker, whatnot um you might be able to push the cardboard aside to feel better but you're definitely going to tell him by just the round bulkiness of mostly his head and um kind of trying to see if it's like you might accidentally get him instead of Heimlich if you're looking for Heimlich um a little disappointed we didn't get Heimlich that yeah, one was the one wait, I was wait, more wait, well, gunning for we literally got all the villains true true we did get all <laughs> right? of the villains we got in this the only assortment. villains yeah um the <laughs> Because Kronk, I mean, I don't consider him a villain just because, you know, he's... I don't, Me either. He is a villain, though. He's, you know? he's a henchman, yes, but Especially I don't, if you're looking just based on the first movie. Yeah, yeah. but, um... That's yeah, hysterical. We, oddly enough, got all the villains, so I'm And we sure, don't have a Kronk pop, so yeah, we, can, we, can't we don't the pop have like the others. But I'm sure you're not necessarily <laughs> upset about that. It's kind of um, I wish you got your Heimlich. She's wearing a Heimlich shirt right now, yeah, too, so it would be very Heimlich. poetic to get a Heimlich Yeah, shirt. my shirt says, someday I'll be a beautiful butterfly or become a beautiful butterfly. So I'm, I'm really sad. I was really wanting the Heimlich. So I guess I'll just have to keep going back and trying to find him. I definitely don't think he'll be hard to find. And now I know what Kronk feels like. So I think I can definitely now kind of tell a difference between Heimlich or um, 
like the difference between Heimlich, Heimlich or Kronk. Mm -hmm. um, I think what's gonna really help people if you're trying to fill these out is try to feel where the base of the key ring is and where it connects to the person. My only concern about Kronk is this here is very flimsy. It, it moves a lot. Yeah. Um, so you might have to try to like reinforce that with something just because I feel like if you're gonna use this as a regular keychain and you're gonna ha carry it around you, sooner or later I feel like Kronk is gonna fall off and you're gonna get stuck with this and I would hate for anyone to be like, oh, I really like him and of wanting him and then you like carry him around and the next thing you know all you have is his little top piece mm -hmm. and I no Kronk. Yeah. So I'm just kind of giving a warning um, just because this like, so far, the characters we have in this series doesn't feel necessarily sturdy because then again, we still have, like, his legs down here are very flimsy and feel very kind of, like, Hades is the squishy. only one that feels tough. Yeah, like, this one... He's I, just way too bulky. Yeah, he's so bulky. And then the flames up here, yeah, I mean, you're not going to have tough, to worry yeah. about mm -hmm. that. Like, he's going to be fine as a keychain. But I would be careful about, like being rough with these two just because like the legs on him and where the key ring is attached um and then her waist are just really flimsy so i would be afraid that like you may or may not break them easily so i would just give that as a heads up if you're going to use these as key rings i would have some kind of way to reinforce them to make them more sturdier um but then again uh like i was saying look for try to feel, figure out where the key ring is connected to the characters because if you can figure out that and you can kind of guess where they're going to connect on the character through picture then you should be able to find the character you were looking for like heimlich is going to be in between his antennas um uh, hunchback esmeralda is going to be up on top um same with, like, you know, these. They're just yeah, going to be up top. Tell. So if you can sit there and feel around where the base of the key ring is, each of the tops are very much different in their own right. So you should be able to have like a good way to feel out what you're wanting. Um, I will definitely be picking up a couple more of these just so I can get a Heimlich. Um, Overall, I think we're having fun doing these kind of unboxing and unbagging videos. So if you guys yeah. are enjoying them, let us know. That's that's definitely going to be a way that we'll yeah, keep them going. Yeah, definitely. Um, I just, I love mystery minis and oh, packs. Like, I'm not necessarily upset. Addictive. I mean, I'm glad we didn't get any of like the hunchback ones just because those would have been my least. Yeah. So definitely not complaining at the ones we do have. But I really do think these are good um i like the characteristics they're very, cute, yeah. they're very great i love how they look and um i just i don't know he looks so he looks kind of derpy hades <laughs> does just because of his eyes and stuff but i i think that's what makes them so cute yeah. and so fun is because they kind of have their own characteristics and it's look true. really derpy mm -hmm. um so yeah if you guys have any questions comments or concerns you know where to leave